Okay. Uh, until LTI Leo. Uh, so two, three, four, seven. I'm trying to mainline ish, like Colson maybe, if it plays uh, Shave Lincoln. So Bishop E3 and Bishop E2, little trick. Uh, or maybe not. Uh, Do you think you can have D5 already? D5? Hmm. <sighs> G4 here. D5. I'll play G4 here. Try it. Pressure on D5. I get in G5. Will you let me get in G5? As well, try and rip open that F4 while well, I'm giving up the E5 square button. Oh well, these things happen. Uh, although knight C4 is particularly painful here. Uh, Queen D2. Might bishop d3 here. Where's bishop g4? We castle then queenside. Is it's out of the question. I could play queen d2 and just just take on c4 and then. No, I can't. Uh oh. There's a knight f3. This is heading for disaster, isn't it? Oh. Knight b2's now. Hmm. Let's see, let's me castle. Knight b2. Okay, let's see. Knight b2. Knight d5. Knight d5. Knight b2. Uh, rook c2. Castle Queenside here. That'll be fun. No, I can't. It's an illegal move. Uh, well, let's try knight d5. Is he really going to play rook c2 as well? A bit, bit materialistic. So I'm on b2 knight. If knight c4, maybe castle Queenside. Gobble my B2 pawn, poor B2 pawn, and carry on with the attack though, with H5, maybe, G6. <laughs> the attack in inverted commas, that is. <laughs> uh, uh, so G6, is that going to be useful? position now without the B2 pawn. So he certainly celebrated C4. <laughs> so G6 is going to be uh, handy. G6. G6. Mm. Oh, it's causing him to think anyway, this position. Right. Uh, 
right, so it's on C2 straight off the bat. Attack C2. Oh, maybe there's Knight C4. Let's do something. So, uh, I could just sack an exchange here. Just bring the rook in. Uh, I'll try that. Maybe. Well, it doesn't seem possible to take. It's B takes. So maybe H6 is something to look forward to. Potentially. How many attacking pieces has he got? I mean, he shouldn't have such a vicious attack. <laughs> he hasn't developed like his bishop and rook. These are spectators. So I'm going to try and use this f6 square in particular. And uh, with h6, queen's nicely powerfully uh, centralized. Um, king's still in the center, so h6. Uh, any other tactics to be aware of? Just using that queen in the center with h6. Seems like a great idea. So the bishop can't move actually because queen g7 maybe. So maybe this isn't so bad, even though I don't understand the position very much. But um, in that classic uh, Colson game recently, you know, Naka didn't seem to have much uh, counterplay against White's king. So how is it here? My opponent's got really aggressive knight. You know, things are so unfair, aren't they? <laughs> the reality, <laughs> there's loads of counterplay. What about bishop d3, though? So still keeping an eye on c4, and then playing rook e2. Oh, well g6, g6 here to stop the rook activating. No, it's probably f6. I don't know. Bishop d3 is tempting. Or even bishop g4. Oh, it's always queen f6 though. I think bishop g4. Threaten to win an uh, exchange back, and if hg rookie two bishop e7 queen g7, okay, that's convinced me. So I want to play rook e2 and queen g7. He's very short on time now, 40 seconds. Thirty seconds coming up. So rook e2, that's bishop e7, okay. There isn't just g takes here, queen f6. Is that going to be really good for him, queen f6? So rook e2, we're saying rook e7, there's no problem that is there. What about just g6 then? Just trying to keep something going. Uh, is he escaping? He's probably escaping with Queen F6, unfortunately. Uh, oh, so the Rook's also kind of dangerous. I'm taking Bishop E6 just to stop the Rook being so active. It still seems good for me. He's only got 20 seconds. Can I win material here? Not yet. Right, just Rook E2. Queen D5 threatens. Should we do a lot of things. Queen b7, queen f7. Uh, so 10 seconds to finish me off. So queen b7, queen c7. What about knight d4? That, that brings a new threat, it's like queen c6. Queen knight d4. Alright. So. Knight e6 here, or queen, what about just queen e6? Play queen f7. Queen f7, queen e4, the rook e8, mates. So queen f7. Whoa, mated. I think this guy's pretty good. On blitz, he's uh, been up, he's 2, 4, 8, 8, he's been up to 2, 6, 7, 5. Well, that was that was an interesting uh, <laughs> that was an interesting attacking game, <laughs> losing B two, but uh, 
So um, maybe a bit over aggressive here, losing b2, <laughs> but uh, being able to castle legally now on the queen side rather than uh, it seems interesting this position anyway. So giving up the exchange, these guys are still in the box. So obviously there was conversation all the way, compensation all the way through. Actually, I, I really thought queen f6 was was dangerous here. Um, yeah, so that's interesting. I think here is fine. He's not developed. These these guys never developed. Comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks very much.